It's Q&A time and today's question is all around how do I run my live event online? Or how do I run an online live event? Great question, it's one that we've got coming through so much right now and I understand there's a lot of confusion because there's so many different options out there and you can get super technical with this stuff. So I'm gonna break it down, I'm gonna give you three options to get you moving forward to get your event out there to the masses online. So the first option I've got for you is Ecamm Live. I absolutely love Ecamm Live. The biggest downside is that it's on the Mac side only, so stick around if you're a PC user because the next solution is going to be the closest thing to it on the PC side of things. But Ecamm Live, I would say, is one of the best live streaming platforms or software out there right now. It makes it so easy for you to go live and broadcast whether it's just your webcam, whether it's sharing your computer screen or PowerPoint slides or keynote slides, or whether it's bringing in multiple cameras and switching between the two. This is really the best bang for buck live streaming software out there, and it is super easy to use. If you've never done a live stream before, you are not going to be overwhelmed with Ecamm Live because they make everything so simple and so intuitive, you're gonna be able to get up to speed really fast. But even if you are someone on the more advanced side of things, you're gonna find everything that you need in here as well. This is my my current go-to live streaming program and is the one that I strongly recommend, again, for the Mac users. So like I said, you've got the ability in here to broadcast live to places like YouTube, whether it's public to the channel for everyone to see, or whether it's an unlisted video, so you might be embedding that on your website somewhere, or the same with Facebook, you can go to a page, to a profile, to a group, even a private group as well. I also really like how they manage the interaction with your viewers as well. You can bring in your comments from all of those different broadcasting places like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and have them all in your live stream and feature them in your live stream if you'd like. You can bring them up on the screen and move them around. So I just love that you can interact with people, and especially if you're doing a Q&A event, then you can bring in a lot of the questions into your live stream as well. The other thing I really like is that you can easily bring in guests into your live stream. So if you wanna do a Q&A or you wanna run an interview with someone or multiple people, you can actually bring in up to five guests inside of Ecamm. Now, currently this is run through Skype, so you'll just need to start a Skype call at the same time, but the moment that your call has started, then you will see appear along the bottom more cameras for you to bring in or the people for you to bring in. So I just love how easy that they've made this and even to switch between say a 50-50 screen split where you're on one side, they're on the other or someone sharing their computer screen and you're down in the bottom corner. You can do all of that stuff really, really simply in Ecamm. And pricing wise for Ecamm, you can currently grab a 14 day trial of Ecamm. There's also a $12 per month subscription, where if you pay annually, it's 144, or you've got the pro plan, which unlocks all the features for $20 a month, which is at 240 annually. So the second option I've got for you is StreamYard. And as I said, this is probably the closest that you'll find to Ecamm Live on the PC side of things, but StreamYard will work on both Mac and PC. And what I really like about it is it actually runs in your browser so that you actually don't need to download and install anything to get the functionality and get all of this working. Just like Ecamm, they're gonna let you broadcast to places like Facebook, to YouTube, to Twitter, and others as well. And whether they're private or unlisted, or whether they're into a lockdown group as well. Now, while there's not as many advanced features inside of StreamYard as there is in Ecamm, you've still got a lot of the core functionality to add titles, to bring in guests. You can actually have up to eight guests on StreamYard, and it's actually easier. If I had to pick between the two as to which one is gonna be easier to bring guests in, I like that with StreamYard, you don't need to use Skype. You can actually just send out a URL or, or copy a link and send that out to people, the guests that you wanna bring in, and yeah, they just click that and they're in your stream. So it's really, really cool the way that they handle that side of things but overall the functionality, it's not as advanced as Ecamm, but it's gonna do everything that you need. Now in regards to pricing for StreamYard, they have a free plan, so zero dollars, it's free. Uh, they also have a $20 per month plan and for the professional, for all the features unlocked, it is $39 per month. The biggest reason I would say that you wanna be at least on that middle plan, the $20 plan, is that it will remove all of the StreamYard branding or watermarks on the live stream. To me, I'm just not a big fan of seeing that and it makes your stream look pretty cheap. So pay the $20 per month and you'll remove that and your stream's gonna look super pro. Now the third option I've got for you is a little bit different to Ecamm and to StreamYard, and that is Zoom. Now Zoom is more of a communications platform than a broadcasting or a live streaming platform, but it does let you live stream or broadcast your Zoom call out. The biggest benefit with Zoom I see is having the ability to bring in more than 
five guests at a time, six guests at a time. With Zoom, you can actually have 100 participants on your call at any given time. And if they're there on webcam and you want to allow them to, to come on and join, you can actually have that Brady Bunch grid view where you're seeing everyone there on webcam and interacting and everything. So it's gonna come down to the type of event that you're looking to run as to which one of these is gonna be the best one for you. But Zoom will let you still broadcast this out to places like YouTube and Facebook as well. And obviously you're, you're engaging and you're bringing in a lot of people. Just like the other two, you can easily share your webcam, you can share your computer screen. This isn't going to support multiple cameras like the previous two did. But as I said, the biggest benefit with this one is the ability to bring in a heap of people into your event. Now, even if you didn't wanna broadcast your event out live to places like YouTube or Facebook, you could actually just have them register as attendees to come and watch and attend your event on Zoom. You can actually have people register for your event using Zoom, they've got all of that function in there and you can even do things like set a password so that people need to enter that password to be able to join the event or to join your call so like I said it's a totally different offering now in regards to pricing zoom you can currently grab on a free plan which will let you have up to 100 people in your call or in your meeting but it is limited to 40 minutes for that session unlocking that and up from that there is a pro plan for $14.99 per month there is also a business plan for $19.99 per month and also an enterprise plan for the same price, $19.99 per month right now. But I would say for most people out there, you're probably gonna be fine with the pro plan or the business plan. So those are my top picks for anyone who's looking to run their live event online. Really, you're gonna get great results with either one of those three. So just pick the one that is right for you and for the type of event that you are going to be running. Now, if you've got a question that you want me to answer, then leave it below in the comments area below this video. And who knows, your question might get selected for me to answer in a video like this. I'll see you next time.